Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's me again, your girl Dianara and today we are going to talk about how to become an au pair in Germany. Yes, you've heard it right. This has been requested by my friends and my subscribers for so many times and I was always thinking, you know what, I really don't want to do it because it's quite boring and it requires a lot of talk and it's going to be a long video and it's not for everybody but you know what I'm just gonna do it because why not so I hope this video will help you guys on your journey to get to Germany because an au pair visa honestly speaking is the easiest way to get to Germany I mean if you're young and all that stuff all the requirements I'm gonna tell you in the next times I mean I'm gonna tell you in quite a bit so just hang on with me uh, but also a disclaimer I'm only talking about uh, being an au pair in German so just get some popcorn with you and I hope you also take down notes because I don't want you to miss anything and also if I missed something on this video just feel free to comment down below and ask me any question you want and I will be happy to answer all of them okay and also guys if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please do click that um, subscribe button down below and also if you want to be updated on my next upload you can also um, hit the notification bell so guys let's get started and I'll see you in a bit so what is an au pair that is a good question let's start from there an au pair is actually a cultural program for young adults ages 18 at least 18 years old to 26 years of age and also um, you love children playing with children uh, go to children on kindergarten and any children's stuff then this job is for you. so talking about uh, requirements first of all age age you must be at least 18 and not more than 26 years of age number two you can be female or male lesbians gay bisexual you can be anyone you want to be this is a free country do you uh, education education guys you don't have to be a college graduate a high school graduate or any level of education is is okay as long as you are 18 to 26 years of age um, for marital status it's best if you apply when you're single but in Germany you can actually apply when you're already married however you have to make sure that you don't have kids for profession you have to have experience in childcare for finances guys you must no nah, you must pay for your plane ticket back and forth that is expected from you but if the family who's gonna invite you to Germany is going to pay for the plane ticket then that's that's a good sign however they are not obliged to do that in Germany you can only be allowed to be an au pair for a year and not more than that in I think in Netherlands or in Denmark you can work there for two years I guess if I'm not guys, let's move on to the benefits of being an au pair disclaimer guys an au pair this is not work so you won't be able to receive a salary however you are given by your host family a pocket money or an allowance of 260 euros if they want to give more then that's their discretion but in the law German law the family must only give the au pair 260 euros not more not less it must be stated in your contract you are entitled to go visit a German language school by the time you get here and the family must give you 50 euro per month to enroll yourself in a German school the rest of the cost you must handle it by yourself the family is not entitled to give you the full amount of the German school expenses. Host family must cover your transportation to go to the German school. So fare and everything, they must pay for that. Uh, you're also paid for a 
for a holiday. So if you're staying here for a year, then you are entitled for four weeks of paid holiday, wherever you wanna go. Have a health and accidental insurance. If you get pregnant, you're also insured. We'll have your own fully furnished room with a television, <coughs> refrigerator, and all that stuff you, you need for your own. Meals are free. Whatever you want to eat, you can eat it. Um, whatever you need for like shampoo or stuff for bathing or brushing your teeth and all that stuff is also provided. It must be provided by your host. So for me personally, the best thing about being an au pair in Germany is traveling. After working then with a the family, you for sure have your days off. You are allowed to go wherever you want in Europe as long as it's within the European Union. Like you can go to Poland, you can go to uh, Netherlands, you can go to Norway, you can go to Switzerland, you can go wherever you want to go, European tour, feel free to do it. And now we are talking about your responsibility as an au pair. What is expected from you? First of all, I already talked about it. You must be prepared to pay your own plane ticket to get here. You must be expected to help the family with the household chores light household chores like, like uh, preparing for breakfast for the children you are expected to be working at least 30 to 35 hours per week not more than that because as i said this is not a job uh you are not paid for it however you only get an allowance so you don't have to work as much as 35 hours per week or six hours per day. Your obligation is to take up your German language school because this is of course a cultural program, right? So you must go to a German school. So guys, now we're done talking about the, what's an au pair or the requirements and the benefits and all that stuff that you must know. Now let's get you here in Germany. How do you actually get to Germany? First of all, the most important thing is to get yourself a host, a family, to host you over and invite you to their country, which is here in Germany. Without a host family, you cannot be an au pair, right? So how do you get yourself a host family? In my case, I didn't went to an agency because I don't know any agency and I don't have the money to pay for an agency because I think it's expensive. So I did everything on my own. I went to this website called greatopair.com. As you can see, this is the site. Guys, I'm not affiliated. I'm not endorsing this site. I'm not paid for this site to be endorsed, but this site is really good. And in my experience, it worked. So this is the greatopair.com. So you just have to create your own profile like just you know signing up a facebook profile easy you put your picture in it here you can see there is my little face and also you have to put your name on it right your whole name and then you must in here in this profile you must sell yourself it's like you must um tell everything about yourself like how old are you why you want to be an au pair for example, you know, I'm, I'm Dianara, I'm 24 years old, I want to be an au pair because I want to experience living in another country, I love kids, and I want to learn a different language, things like that. In this website, you can click find jobs, no? and in here, there's au pair. You can click here, au pair. All the families in Germany, here, it's like a catalog, you know, like Avon catalog. Then you can just read all their profiles. And if you're also interested in this family, you can just message them, click message here, and then you can write a personal message and tell them, hey guys, uh, I've read your profile. Uh, I would love to be part of your family. Once you already found your match, a family that's willing to invite you, then the family will actually um, set a contract. No, a contract. Uh, this is actually my actual contract. <clears throat> uh, 
and this contract was sent by my host family and inside this contract is all the details see this contract guys as you can see wait this contract is for au pair employment according to the European agreement on the au pair placement of uh, November 24, 1969. This is very important because the contract must oblige to the rules of Germany. So I think your host family knows all these things. You don't have to do this. This is the rep responsibility of your host family. Uh, once you found your host family, the host family will send you the contract. Let's see. Let's see. Where is the signature? For example, you're gonna sign your the host mom will sign um, their signature here and you're gonna sign here and then once you sign this contract you're gonna send this contract back to your host family in Germany and then the host family will notarize this contract so it will be legalized by a lawyer and then once it's already notarized by a lawyer here in Germany, then they're gonna send this contract back to you in the Philippines because this is part of the requirements when you are actually applying for the visa. So um, afterwards, if you already have this one, then you can start with your German schooling, which is the A1 level of German. Uh, must be um, affiliated by the Goethe Institute uh, <clears throat> so once you have the A1, as, uh, you can do the in intensive course, that's good for a month. And then right after studying German, you must take the A1 exam and you must pass this exam because you need the certificate which looks like this, see? This is the uh, A1 certificate which proves that you actually can speak the basic German language and this is also part of the uh, requirement for the visa application and and once you all have this one then you can directly um, go to the German embassy in your country and ask for all the requirements and start applying for your au pair visa. These are the requirements of the embassy. First of all, you must have a valid passport. This passport must be valid three months after uh, your duration of stay or longer. So that's, that's it. Uh, number two, you must have an application form. You can get this form in the German embassy. Number three, you must have a th uh, three identical passport picture with the white background. Uh, you must have a birth certificate, a birth certificate issued by the Philippine Statistics Office, and also you must have a, a declaration of what is this? A declaration according to the 54 fully accomplished signed by your own hand. You know, this is like a declaration that you are going to stay in Germany. You're not going to stay there more than a year and you will oblige oblige for the laws and regulation of the German law this is a declaration this will also be given in the German embassy when you get there and also part of the, the uh, requirement is the au pair contract here uh, next is your resume it's just like applying for a job, you know, your resume, you put your face there, your name, uh, your age, and your, what is this, educational background, your professional background, and stuff like that. You can search it on Google, guys, how to make a resume, very easy. And also, guys, very important, um, in the family, the family must have kids. And you cannot apply for an au pair if you are somewhat related to the host family. You know, if, if your your host family is your uncle or if your host family is your aunt, then that's, that doesn't work, guys. It must be like a German citizen who is not your relative. That's very important. And if you already have all these requirements with you, uh, you must submit it to the German embassy. You must, you know, you must also know a little something about your host family and your obligations and stuff like that because when you actually get to your appointment the embassy will ask you basic questions like uh, what's the name of your host family what are you going to do there uh, how many kids are you gonna uh, take care of 
and basic questions that are uh, very important for you to know. So guys, once you uh, submit all your requirements and once your requirements has been approved, then all these requirements from the German embassy in, in your country, they will send it to Germany and they're gonna process and they're gonna take a look at your application and once your application is approved they're gonna germany will gonna send this back to your home country and your home country is going to call you and tell you if your visa application has been approved or not normally the waiting process for me personally it only took me three weeks to uh, know the result of my application but some applicants it will take at least two months and in this waiting time guys you must not ask question or you must not call the embassy and update the status of your application because it will not help the thing you can only do is hope and pray that the application is approved so once the application is approved and once you get the call and i call you they're gonna tell you like you know what diana your open application visa has been approved and you can go directly to germany so once you've been approved you're gonna send your your passport to the german embassy in your home country tell them that you know what i'm going to fly next month so they're gonna put there the flight date so you can say that you're ready to go to germany however guys this uh visa is only valid for three months right and once you get to germany you can extend this for another nine months but you must present yourself in the ausländerbehörde ausländerbehörde this is the aliens office of foreigners we are aliens there you must present yourself and you must tell that hey i am dianara i came here and i want to extend my visa for another nine months so that is it you guys and I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's very long. For more questions, please, please comment down below. I'll answer all of them. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next upload. I love you all. Bye-bye. Peace.